Uh, this is a 72 inch Snap-on Master Series Toolbox. Um, what do you want me to do first? Money maker drawer, my sockets, all oh, my 12 point. These are metric, standards, 3 8 and then half inch drive, and these are just some oddball ones. And then we've got triple squares, uh, mostly used on Volkswagen and other German cars. And then all these are just hex heads, but I got ball head, half inch drive. These go from inch and a quarter to inch and a half. Got my extensions, these are Matco, Wobble Plus. Best money spent on extensions. And then I got snap on half inch back here as well. Got a whole set. Uh, super deeps, snap on. These are our 10 millimeter and 11 millimeter. Use the 10 millimeter for 7.3 glow plugs. Oh, that's a chicken. Uh, Nicole's mom got me that for Easter and I didn't, I never opened it. And I just left it in my toolbox. It's been there for about eight months. Still got candy in it. And then we've got swivel sockets. Uh, I've got some Mac and Craftsman, just random ones here, of standard. And then my metrics, shallows, and deeps. Uh, they're expert brand from the Mack truck. Uh, standard sockets, half inch drive, deep, half inch drive, shallow, quarter drive, deep. Uh, they're just oddball Harbor Freight. Same with my quarter drive, shallows, standard. And then 3 8 standard. All my expensive sockets are my metric, snap on, half inch drive. I don't have any um shallow half inch metric i don't use them very often so but i do have all standard or all metric deep and shallow impact sockets as well as i have chrome on them too and then my quarter drive sockets are random matco snap on blue point craftsman rubber freight for deeps and shallows and then the extension tray you can't not have enough, so gotta have extras of them. Then random sockets, random sockets, favorite ratchet, 3 8 snap on. And you gotta have this bad boy here. Half inch drive on one den, 3 8 on the other. Uh, oil filter sockets, this is for a 7 3, this is for whatever the hell you wanna use it on. Then we got the wrench drawer. This is my favorite drawer, I just like the way it looks. Got the old uh, gear wrench, double box and ratcheting wrenches. These things are the cat's ass and the cat's ass. We got the Harbor Freight crow's feet. Don't use them because they're from Harbor Freight and I don't use crow's feet. Sun X stubby wrenches, they go from 10 to 19. Awesome to have, especially if you're in anything automotive related, you need stubbies, you're gonna need them. Uh, angled wrenches, I only got, you know, from I think it's half inch to three quarter, just because that's all I needed when I bought them. And then ratcheting gear wrenches. I should have bought the flex head ones. I've got the S wrenches. Awesome for transfer case bolts as well. And custom wrenches. Everybody's got them cut. You gotta have, if you ain't got extra wrenches, then you're new in the job. So, you know, if you gotta cut them, you gotta cut them. Then I got my 30 millimeter snap on. Use that for a lot of alignments on semis. Uh, this is for Duramax. Uh, water, yeah, filters, 21, 22 millimeter, box in, snap on, gotta be snap on. Uh, I want my oddball gear wrench wrenches, because this whole set, except for I think, set from half inch to one inch, our gear wrench, and then just extra random ones, and then all the other are from 10 to 24. And then you got Mr. Mustache. Somebody says you can't grow a mustache, you really can. And the power tool drawer, big mama here, three-quarter drive. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't use it very often, it is not snap on, but it was free. But when I do need it, it's nice to have. Then new snap on impact. These things are fucking junk. Don't buy one. And then the Mac, half inch stubby. By far one of my favorite tools. Random pry bar because I don't know where else to put it. Uh the Mac die grinder set. And then snap on battery tools. I will not buy any battery tools off any truck except for snap on. I mean, unless I got 
you know, Milwaukee or DeWalt, but man, this is the old Snap-on driver. <laughs> Batteries are shot. And then my favorite tool, I carry this with me everywhere. Grocery store, home, church. Gotta have your Streamlight flashlight. Best thing ever. Put it back in my pocket so I don't lose it. This is my overflow plier drawer, which I really didn't need the overflow drawer. This stuff just didn't fit the way I wanted it in my drawer, so it's in here now. And we've got the Kiwi pliers, which I've only used once or twice, but for what, what I paid, they were a pretty decent deal. You gotta have a big pair of channel locks. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. They're, it's cat's ass. Snap ring pliers for like in, in a transmission. Used them once. In the time I bought them, I used them. And then just random excess brake tools. Piston ring installer, which I use a fucking screwdriver. That was a stupid purchase. And then the screwdriver drawer, pick drawer, whatever you want to call it. We've got it all. My radiator hose picks. These are supposed to be like O ring pullers that sa save your O rings, but they don't work like that. They're junk. Yeah, I think I used, I think, I think it was this one Dad used as the key in the bobcat for a while until we got a key. Texas Snap One guy told me I needed one warranty because the head got accidentally shaved off. And he warrantied it. Well, I haven't seen him to give him the pick back, so I mean, I might just have to warranty it again. Get another one. I got my little stubby snap on screwdrivers, my snap on set, and I've got some little torque screwdrivers here and precision screwdrivers. This is a special bend screwdriver. Uh, it's good for like washers and an axle. Snap on extra long screwdrivers. Uh, I've used them not very much, kind of a waste of money. And some extra hooks and picks and scrapers. And plier drawer. Got some real long bastards over here. Oh, excuse the language, sorry. These were like eight bucks at Farm Science Review. They are pretty nice. And everybody needs to have a pair of these. There's no day that you don't need these. Cut everything with these things. Brake lines. You want to mess with your buddy, cut his brake lines with these. And whatever you want. The snap-on snap ring plier set. I had a set of Harbor Freight ones. Don't do it. They break. The tips break off. And they're just random pliers, chain locks. Nipex, I just picked up this full set Monday. I had just the middle one, the small one, but I bought the whole set so I could keep the other ones elsewhere. But these are like the absolute best tool. Nipex Cobras, Woo. just makes me happy thinking about using them. Vice grips, cheap ones, Matco, Irwin, I got them all. This is electrical drawer number one. I've got my Power Probe 3, awesome tool, an amp clamp, spark plug tester, Multimeter, that's from Harbor Freight, and it actually is a really good meter from Harbor Freight, and I will give props to them on that. Snap on test light, uh, crappy OBD2 plug in for your phone, uh, Blue Point OBD2. I've got, oh, I don't know, what's blowing in here. Wrong drawer. I was looking for that. This is just like my wiring tools. This is like an all in one, but I don't like it. I'd rather click like that and my wires strip. And then next drawer is the other electrical drawer and it's got my test leads. These are for like uh, popping out pins and plugs. I got the whole set of them. Oh, cannon plug dudes? Yeah. yeah. They're actually, I used them a couple times. They're actually pretty nice to have. Fuel pump O-rings, extra ones you get in the kits. I think they're extras. I guess we'll find out if it comes back. They came with like two or three in the pump. I just, I knew the one goes on top. I didn't know about the rest of them. I don't like electrical, so pretty pissed I have two drawers for that shit. The awesome drawer. I've got Harbor Freight hammers, not gonna lie. You can see how well that's lasted in about six months. Absolutely abusing the hell out of it. But I just bought this one. And then I got the Mac Anti-Vibe set, which if you're gonna buy hammers, buy these. They're my favorite hammers I ever bought. It was like a hundred bucks, you got all three of them. There's a 32, a 40, and a 48. There's a ball joint separator that I don't use. You just heat it up and beat the crap out of it. Giant bolt. You can't get that bearing out of your hub. You just sit it on there and just pop! Out every time. What'd that come off of? Down here, got my laptop. Get that out. Uh, welding gloves, Kevlar sleeves, mother gloves. Those are intake boots for a 7.3. They were extra ones I had. Uh, slide hammer set, hub puller set angle grinder, three quarter ratchet, and then the random drawer. This has a lot of shit there. Part of my old fuel system for my truck. Gotta keep it just in case. These, this is the first thing I ever bought Matco. They're just utility hooks is what they sell them as, but they are perfect for holding a caliper up while you're doing brakes. I thought, damn, that's a fucking good idea. 6-0 glow plug tool, which 
it doesn't work. By the time you pull the plug off the glow plug, it ends up breaking the whole harness. Uh, yeah, fuel disconnect. This is for 6.0s to 7.3 high pressure oil line disconnects. Especially if you're working in a Ford dealership or a small shop where you're gonna see 6.0s every day, unfortunately. This is from Harbor Freight and it actually works awesome for being Harbor Freight. Is it digital? Yep. Dang. Uh, I didn't buy cheap. It was only like 30 bucks. What was it from? Harbor Freight. You didn't buy cheap. <laughs> I mean. Uh, for Harbor Freight wise, yeah, right. that's pretty expensive. And then uh, this is for valve stems. Another tire pressure fill up, and then that's another checker. This is my personal drawer, pens, markers, bills I don't want the wife to see, and a ping pong ball. There's one of them in there. Caving bolts that I actually turned into a press to press in a shackle bushing on a S10. Sat it like that, and it, it pushed it in. It did the job. Uh, this right here is a specialty tool, completely specialty. It's a Ford Power steering cap. And then you hook this, I flared a brake line on it, and you hook this to your intake, and it pushes all the excess air into your intake and bleeds out your power steering system on Ford. Like a 7.3s have that. I think some of the older Ford Taurus has had that set up. I do have this uh, snap on ruler. It was free, so I did not buy that, but it is snap on. Now, this is my auto body drawer. A DA, paint gun, oddball crap, some wheels, sandpaper, rivet gun. And then just a fender cover. That was actually my dad's from when he was in high school. Uh, brake piston compressor. That's a Lyle. It's really nice. Not cool. Uh, air pressure brake bleeder set. You just hook it up, turn it on, hook it to air, and it bleeds the brakes. It's a 6 0 fuel pump harness. Uh, and this random parts, you gotta have a drawer full of this craft. This is all 6.0 and 7.3 craft though. I think there's some Cummins gaskets in here. There's Cummins O-ring, mineral core plants, an ICP, some random seals. There's an old radiator cap. And in the locker. Got your magnets, trays, you gotta have them. Kick the fancy lights on here. My Harbor Freight locker. Uh, my Snap-on cup, this is a vintage Snap-on cup with women in cars. Look at her. No, oh, no, that's that's my pen cut. Look, I ain't got my forks because you never know when you're gonna have to snack and eat or snack and work, that's what I mean. It's got some pens and random crap. Uh, coolant pressure adapters. And if you are going into any trade where you're gonna be working on vehicles and you need to buy a coolant pressure tester, do not buy the shitty little hand pump one. I tell you, it sucks ass trying to do it to a semi or a diesel. So buy the nice expensive snap-on, air pressure. Oh, this thing is the cat's ass. But you gotta know how to use it. If not, you will backfill coolant into your gauge, and as you can see, I've done it once. There, it's all fogged up from coolant being on the inside. <laughs> and it was a complete accident, I just wasn't paying attention. I knew how to use it, I just wasn't paying attention. Harp Freight tap and die set. It's a real crappy set, but it was 12 bucks and I needed it at the time. Matco tap and die set. It's a small set. Uh, brake flaring kit. I don't even use it. I refuse to do brake lines. Snap on vacuum pump, or snap on Harbor Freight is what I meant. It's a crappy vacuum, but I needed it at the time, and it actually worked pretty good. Snap on Pittsburgh Division. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got to use this yet, but after doing a couple twist end brake calipers, I bought the kit because it fucking sucked without this. But this is for all the actual twist in. I actually have the socket as well. Ford was known for this on rear brakes. They put this little thing, you actually had to spin it in instead of pressing it in. But yeah, I haven't got to use it yet. But when I do, I'm gonna be one happy kid that I bought. Uh, this came in my Buick when I bought it. It's a whole like roadside assistance kit. But all I wanted was the fuel siphon. So I just wrote fuel siphon and left the case in there. It does have some nice little tools. A little bit dry. Oh look, quarter drive sockets. Huh. Some light bulbs. I don't know what the hell this is. I think that's like a roadside little blinker. Oh, Freaking you said on that. Goes bad. How the heck are you going to use that? <laughs> the serpentine belt tool from Gear Wrench. It's probably one of my, that's probably one of my first tools I ever bought. I remember you bought that. I think I lost the 3 8 piece in here. 
Yeah, uh, probably a couple times. I, the last one is probably still on the truck I left it on. I couldn't get it back out of the belt tensioner on a 6.4. It's gonna melt anyway, so what's the matter? Yeah, got my welding helmet. These are some like, uh, what are these called? Oh, great, those great are- funnel, prevents contamination. I've seen those. They were on sale at Dayton Tool Crib, so I bought it. On this video, you gotta give a shout out to Coon Trucking. It's on Instagram. Tub of Towels. They are, they're gonna be sponsored by Tub of Towels here soon. They, they got me hooked on, they clean your tools the best. Brake, brake clean sponges your handles up on ratchets. That will not. So, Tub of Towels. We're getting a sponsorship too. There's some syringes I use for filling turbos back up with oil. I don't like to start them dry. And we got the under the hood light, sponsoring us very bright lighting on this beautiful dented chrome top on my toolbox.